Hello everyone. Uh, today I want to talk about this wonderful book, Math Circles. Well, they missed the word circles in this PDF. Math Circles from 3 to 7. The story of a mathematical circle for preschoolers. So perhaps you already know this, that mathematical circles are an experimental educational practice for mathematics for children where six to seven children come together in a session of one or two hours and there is a problem set there is a list of problems and there is a coordinator the coordinator actually gives some hints or some encouragement but he is not he or she is not teaching per se the students the participants they only bounce ideas and they try to solve the problems as a team. This has been a fantastic experiment in mathematics in Eastern Europe and we at Chinta do this with our internal students and some of the external students from rural schools in India. Anyway, let's talk about this book. This is for three to seven, so it's for preschoolers. Preschoolers, elementary school kids, school kids up to class four can use it. We at Chinta use it in our Mathematical Olympiad programs, this particular book, some content out of it. This is written by Zovon Kin and this is a very interesting book. It is written in the form of a diary. It's a journal. So what happened is there was this math circle that this person ran and he carefully noted down the different activities and the responses of the students during that math circle each of those math circles so it's it's very useful for for parents and teachers as well not only for the students because it does not only it, it, this particular book does not only contain uh, the content of the circles it also contains the possible reactions the possible interactions that can come up so what kind of stuff uh, can you expect? For example, there is this thing on Mobius band. It starts with session 21 because up to 20, the person did not record. So look at the stuff on uh, session 21 on Mobius band. It happened on a Wednesday, February 4th from 1981. And it was just a half an hour math circle and the participants were Dima, Pete, Jean and Andy. And they and the person Zovonkin he says that I cut a sheet of paper into four strips together and we glue them into four Mobius strips. So this is a piece of paper I have here. Maybe you can see it. And maybe I can enlarge this a little bit. So you have a piece of paper like this. And if you just circular if you just paste it like this, the two ends, then it becomes a circular cylindrical kind of stuff. But if you turn this and paste it, if you twist it once and paste it, what you get is a very beautiful surface called the Mobius strip. So at the elementary school level, up to grade four or five, at Chinta, we stress this a lot that you should be doing mathematics hands-on. This is also suggested by Cedric Villani, a famous mathematician who carried out an extensive, extensive research on how to teach mathematics at the elementary school level. So anyway, we have this Mobius strip and one nice thing, and I think they also sort of go through this entire process. They find out in the, in the process of this activity that the Mobius strip has only one side. So if you start here, and if you roll down like this, if you go, go along, if you go along, you will come to the, come beneath where you started, beneath the paper. You started here, you come beneath where you started. So it has one surface per se, okay? So they do this exercise and there are several such exercises in this particular activities in this particular book. You should definitely check it out and try these at home. Uh, mathematical circles are a powerful addition to the regular Math Olympiad programs at Chinta as well. So if you are an internal student, you should definitely check that out. Keep on doing great mathematics. Work on this beautiful book and I'll see you in the next one.